A conclusion to intelligence has to do with language. Unless a human achieves the mathematical dominance already available as an example on Earth, a human's got gold diamonds and silver, AI and algorithms on quantum computers, and now they've got the biggest navy, and now they've got the most atomic weapons. Mathematically, they're dominant. They're intelligent. Nobody can say they're not. They'll either intellectually or physically silence them, most likely, unfortunately interrupt them, disrupt them, confuse them, probably assault them and call them a retard like I've been called. And then after all of the paranoia has ended and the schizophrenia has stopped and all of the duality, no more evident and apparent. There's language. And probably a person describing how smart they are, how socially aware they are, how they eliminated gender and how their philosophy and theory about life does not involve the equations of suffering and colonialism and all they need to do has to do with what they've already given and provided on social media, on the internet, and written in the books they've published. They're pretty much and basically what Einstein was when he was alive a long time ago. Not so different than Noam Chomsky. And so there's the problem. Well, why didn't Noam Chomsky do what they did and achieve the same success? But then there's not only language, there's what's involved with the body and language and not simply the handwriting language and the mouth speaking language. Hypothetically, the, and theoretically, the pen can go in the mouth. Elephants paint with their body, with no hands. So then there's the language of the brain, the mouth speaking, the body. And writing. Every human on earth eventually has been convinced, not so different than what religion did a long time ago. And everyone follows the leader. Until a person reaches the leader and the leader goes, I don't know.
And then the person who reaches the leader has a decision. To ignore, nobody knows. Unless the person chooses otherwise and unfortunately probably does what they did to Gandhi, what they did to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and other world leaders. But why the heck, gosh darn, would anybody need to keep going until there's death and suffering to figure out? There's no end to suffering until dominance stops. But what humans can't comprehend has to do with when the dominance stops with humans and earth still has animals unable to learn quantum mathematics and neuroscience and language and medicine and health. And another restart, someone saying, oh my gosh, they're dominant. Take away their gender. Stop their puberty when they're three years old. Have an abortion, I'm sick of it. Dominance. And then the next easy option. Oh gosh darn, the wolf ate the bully. In silence. Shamans and holy humans, they dance, they have their ritual, their practices, and then everyone goes, oh my gosh, they're distracting us, they're dominant. Again, more killing and death and dying, and then there's no religion. A process that's already been repeated over and over, involving war and duality and violence death and dying. So horrible and horrific. And then mystery, secrecy. Not so different than what a guru does. What a world leader does nowadays. And what humans proclaim as success and accomplishment in Washington State. Everybody just pretends there's not all of these humans with their hats backward with weed and with drugs they're selling, they're bringing from those places where they're not from the United States, but they say, well, they're just trying to survive and make money for their families. not talking about what they're doing to their families. They don't care about, while they're explaining what they're doing with the 
power and control of the guns and the weapons and the martial arts they practice and use in silence. There's all these humans working towards all these different goals. Deciding with all of these options and choices available. And nearly every energy used explaining what they're giving and what they're fixing and what they are providing and what they were doing for everybody. Regardless of cancer and retardation, So what's most explainable after three videos of intelligence has to do with what's missing. The mystery and the secret, they keep hidden. Those with power and those with control, prestige and honor. And what's hidden and what's missing and what's kept out of sight and in silence has to do with an emotion humans have lost about suffering. A part of what the body feels and the brain thinks with thought and what the heart does with breathing. Now lost with all of the information available in the United States of America. Go down south, go over the, go over the ocean, go, go up and down and a ways and all around. But not a single human living on planet Earth aside from a voice from afar on a video on an object with energy. Can end suffering other than with their body and dominance with their language and mathematics inside of their brain. And so mostly there's no end to an intelligent conclusion I and anyone else who cares has to sit and stare and hide and live in this duality involving ignorance and worse, death. 